The word list manager can be used to develop a list of the words in a biblical book, and you can save that list for future use. Open the word list manager by selecting Tools on the main menu, then Analyzing the Text and Word List Manager. Click the Load or Generate Word List button. First select your search version. The word list manager opens to the search version currently on display in the main portion of BibleWorks. For this example, we'll choose the BGT. Then check the Source Radio button to load words from a Bible version. Under Verse Range Limits, in the Verse Range box, enter the book name for the book that you wish to develop a list of words for. For our example, we'll use 1 Peter. So highlight the range that exists there, and then type in your book name. For 1 Peter, it is 1 PE. Then click the Create List button to run the search. The main word list now contains a list of all the words in 1 Peter. The number of different words, in this case 816, appears immediately below the word list window, followed by the total number of words in the book, 1684. So using a text version like the BGT, we can develop a list of all of the words in the book. But let's say we wish to have a list of just the vocabulary that's used in 1 Peter. We can run this same search using a morphologically tagged version like the BGM to do so. So to demonstrate this, I'll click on the secondary word list so that it becomes active, and then click Load or Generate Word List. Set the version to BGM. Keep the source as Load Words from Bible Version. Under Verse Range Limits, set the verse range to 1 PE again. You'll likely find that the checkbox here, Keep Morph Codes, is already checked, like we see here. Since we wish to develop just a list of the words without morphology codes, you'll need to uncheck this checkbox. Then click the Create List button. Now we find that there are 542 different lemmas in 1 Peter, meaning that 542 different words make up the vocabulary of 1 Peter. Through the File menu, you can save the list for future use by clicking on Save as IEL File for later use or for GSE. And you'll also find options for exporting the list as an RTF or text document for opening in a word processor. See the help file for more information on the Word List Manager.